9,000 year old Cheddarman shares the same DNA with the English teacher of history. Cheddarman, Britain's oldest skeleton, had dark skin and he has living descendants still living in the same area. DNA analysis revealed. The remains of a man were discovered in Goff's cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, England, and were given the name Cheddarman. Cheddarman was discovered around the turn of the 20th century and is thought to be from the Mesolithic era. Cheddarman appears to have received little attention, and he was most likely just another prehistoric relic among many. However, it wasn't until the turn of the century that one of the most astonishing discoveries about this prehistoric person was made. It was discovered that he had a living descendant living in the same location. In 1903, Cheddarman was discovered. The remains of this prehistoric man were discovered 20 meters 65 feet, inside Goff's cave the largest of Cheddar Gorge's 100 caves beneath a layer of stalagmite which was then covered by another layer of more recent material. Cheddarman was discovered buried alone in the mouth of a deep cave, and dating results indicate that he lived around 9,000 years ago. During the Mesolithic period, since his discovery, it appears that little research has been done on Cheddarman and he may be considered a minor person. In 1914, 11 years after Cheddarman's discovery, an essay titled The Cheddarman, a Skeleton of Late Paleolithic Date, was published. The assignment of Cheddarman to the Late Paleolithic period, some thousand years earlier to the Mesolithic period in which he is now assumed to have lived, is one of the aspects in the title that may strike a reader immediately. The measurement of Cheddarman's skull was one of the analyses performed by the paper's authors. These measurements were then matched to those of other prehistoric skull fossils. Aside from it, other skeletal remnants such as teeth and limb bones were examined. A surviving descendant of Cheddarman was discovered in 1997, according to reports. DNA was discovered in the pulp cavity of one of Cheddarman's molars, according to the findings. The DNA was tested at the Institute of Molecular Medicine at Oxford University. The DNA of 20 local people whose family had been known to have lived in Cheddar for numerous generations was then compared to the results of the research. One of these people was identified as a Cheddarman descendant. Adrian Target's DNA was determined to match that of Cheddarman, who was 42 years old at the time of the discovery. This genetic imprint is claimed to have been passed down from mother to child, according to research. In other words, Target and Cheddarman have a maternal ancestor in common. It should be noted that Target was not the only member of his family who refused to leave his ancestral home. His extended family reportedly numbered 46 people, with the majority of them remaining in the Somerset area. It should be noted that while Cheddarman is the most well-known collection of human remains discovered in Cheddar Gorge, he is not the only one. According to one study, the site is Britain's prime site for Paleolithic human remains. Several decades ago, another set of well-known human remains was unearthed. The skulls of two people and a three-year-old child were used to create these three cups. Several years ago, these remains were re-examined and it was discovered that manufacturing skull cups was a traditional craft and that the skulls were gathered after their owners died naturally. In addition, numerous human bones were discovered with traces of butchery, indicating that these archaic individuals committed cannibalism.